Welcome back to my mini series on using generic notes to create notation inside of a project. I'm going to now show you, I'm going to move on to part two of my series where I'm going to show you how to actually put the note type into the project and then how to actually use it into the space. So the first thing I'm going to do now that I have my note created is I'm going to actually click up top here where it says load into project and close so that I can get it into my project. And the reason I say close is if you don't watch it and you just keep opening up items and files and components, you're gonna have a bunch of files open before you even realize it. So I always try to make sure I say close so I can keep a, a cap on how much I have open. So now that I've loaded the note back in here, it's very, very simple on how to do this. So you're just gonna click and put the note into your space. Now just keep in mind that this note is actually meant more for a quarter size drawing or scale. So if you have to, you can go back down here and actually change your scale so that it is, you know, at a quarter, um, especially for a residential. And then that sizing becomes a little bit better for you. If you need to go back and change it inside of the component itself, then you go back and change inside of the component itself. Now, you remember I talked about the two different things where we would have two different types of note tags. We would have a note tag where you would actually see the text, and then we would have a note tag where you wouldn't see the text. And then right now, it's showing both. So here's how you change that. So I'm going to actually go over here to my type editor, and I'm going to click on edit type. And inside of here, it just says note block tag. So I'm actually going to rename this note block to say text visible. Just, just something that simple. I don't need to be more specific because it's underneath the note block thing. So I'm going to click on text visible. And text visible just means that, that you can actually see the text. But I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to do a duplicate. And I'm going to say uh, note only, or we'll say tag only. For number. that's all that we want to see and all I simply have to do when I duplicated that is just uncheck where it says note text and filter visible because I don't want to see those two items on my actual plan if I was doing a drafting view yes I would want to see them on there but not on this plan so I'm gonna tell this okay so you'll notice that those two went away so now I'm going to click in here because this is going to be my first tag and I'm just going to put something simple. You could, like I say, you can use both letters and numbers as your tagging system. So there's my number and then I'm going to actually come over to the filter note and I'm going to say, well, I need this to be, um, I want it to show on just my first four, I don't know, proposed plans. So I can do something as simple as FFPP, which is short for first four proposed plan. And that would be my filter. After that, I then need to make sure that I actually have the text in there. So the text, uh, one little issue is the text is not visible. So there's a little bit of a parameter that we need to add to this. So after I put the tag in, I'm now going to go back in, I'm going to put the, the text in. So I've clicked on it and there's now a spot for me to put in text, the text. And I'm just going to simply say something like, um, and this could be used for demo notes, it could be used for new notes, it could be used for anything, but I said for this one, it's for my finish, or my first four proposed plans. So I could say something like, um, let's see here, I don't know, new closet to be refinished with matching material for bedroom something yeah, I don't know something something simple where you put this text in this note in there and so then when you go to do your actual text that you usually have on these on your sheet it's in there and then you know so I didn't spell material exactly right so make sure that's in there so after we get it in there you could just hit enter enter and now this note has this text assigned to it the reason why we do this is because there may be some times where you want to go ahead and use that same note in several different locations like say and it's the same as note number one so i could take this note and i can copy it over 
And it can go into every place that, that I'm using this same exact note. And it's something that's very, very convenient and easy to do because you can make sure that if you are changing to the note to match the information of what you're trying to show on these different locations, and maybe it gets changed everywhere, instead of you having to change it in many different places and taking more time, you change it in one place and it affects all the other notes on the other sheets as well because the note is the same. So that's how you actually use the noting system. If you want to put a leader on it, you could tell it to add a leader and it, you can then use it the same way as you would use anything else where you could then give it an elbow and possibly give it an arrowhead. If say for instance, you do want an arrowhead on it instead of just a plain line at the end, all you do is go back in the edit type, go to the leader arrowhead and change it to the one that you desire to use. And in my particular case, I like to use the field arrow. And now you have an arrow or a leader to go with this note. And this can also have multiple leaders. So I can have, you know, one note that's referring to two different things and take care of that situation as well. And you have those everywhere. So in the next video, what I'll do is I'll show you how to actually create the note block itself that you're using based off of these tags that you have created and how you can get it to organize and work efficiently for you. If you need to see anything else, please let us know. And don't forget to hit subscribe at the end of the video.